Family relationships are very important to kids and teens' development. In this video, I'll explain how these relationships are especially important to teens. Since good relationships are very important for teens, the way you treat them has a lot of impact. Teens become more rebellious and are exploring their identity during the, these years of their life. The way you treat teens in your life will affect their brain, actions, and personalities as they grow. A great example of this is in Romeo and Juliet and the feud between the two families. Because of how this feud made the families act, when Romeo and Juliet fell in love, they knew their families would never approve. This caused them to take drastic measures so they could be together. As we see Romeo and Juliet's relationship progress, they become more secretive from their families. This is because they don't want to make their families angry or upset with them. All the actions that take place between the beginning of the two teens' relationship to the end, we see the effects it took on them. All of this leads to the two teens' deaths in the end, all because they were in love and scared of their families. This point in Romeo and Juliet perfectly shows how important family relationships are to teens. The family's feud led to the two teens' death. Although it may not be the same in real life, similar situations can happen to any teen and have the same effect in any situation. These situations shape them and influence them immensely. A great, more relatable example is teens that have parents that brush off their child's happiness to save themselves stress, anger, or time. One way this shows is harshly pressuring a teen to get good grades even if they're not happy or if they're stressed. This may lead them to spite you or stop trying in school due to the negative mental effects it has. It is good to have expectations for teen family members and to discipline them, but what matters most is how you go about it. Automatically yelling, harshly punishing them, or taking away things that make them happy is not the way to get through to them. Having a conversation to explain your point of view and feelings, while still listening to their point of view and feelings, is the best way to go about it.